Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch and 3DS emulation. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu. Yuzu just got a brand new update. Now, just yesterday, we went over the progress report for Yuzu for the month of April, and we've got even more changes now. This is for mainline version 1014. All you have to do to get this version is open up Yuzu. It should automatically update. Or you can just download the latest version from their website. In this version, we have a bunch of improvements. The first thing here is properly disable motion services. So if you play games like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, the stop six axis sensor error should be fixed. And this also fixes motion controls not working properly in game and reporting the same motion refresh rate as the Switch. The next two items apply to Super Mario 3D All-Stars. For Super Mario Galaxy, the lens flare texture is now fixed. And they fixed rendering in Super Mario 64 if you're using the OpenGL renderer. The last couple of points on the list here have to deal with Nintendo Switch Online Nintendo 64. So emulation within emulation. Nintendo Switch Online Nintendo 64 is now bootable. However, it will crash on Nvidia GPUs running on Vulkan at the moment. Now these updates are live as we speak, so go on ahead and try them out. Moving on now, and we're still talking about Nintendo Switch emulation, but on Android with Skyline, because why wouldn't we be? Yes, Skyline has even more improvements. They are not slowing down. Now, just yesterday, we talked about Pokemon Let's Go up and running at 60 frames a second for periods of time on an underpowered Snapdragon 662. The Snapdragon 662, I would argue, well, maybe not so much anymore, but previously, I would argue that that processor is underpowered for an emulator like Skyline. But the developers continue to do the impossible here and seem to defy the laws of physics. In fact, Celeste is up and running at 60 frames a second on the exact same processor. So if you have an older device or possibly a more underpowered device, there is still hope for you here. On top of that, with the latest testers build, it seems that Super Mario Odyssey's graphics are getting better. And something to note about this screenshot, take a look at that processor. That's not a Snapdragon. Here's a better look at the textures loading in. And yes, things are shaping up. And this person's using a Snapdragon 750. And keeping on the theme of fixed graphics and improved performance, Metroid Dread is really coming along well. It's shaping up quite a bit. And in my opinion, this is pretty darn impressive. It went from a broken glitchy mess to something that is borderline playable. I mean, if you don't mind a few graphics that aren't showing up correctly. If we zoom in on the video, it appears the game is running at about 20 frames a second when no enemies are present. And then when enemies are present, it dips down to about 11. Last up, we're talking about Nintendo 3DS emulation on Android with Citra. And yes, the official Google Play Store version of Citra. It has been a while since this app has been updated and it may or may not be getting an update soon. The last time it was updated was back in May of 2021, so well over a year ago, or just over a year ago. And the reason why this one hasn't been updated is because the developers are hard at work on Yuzu, so the Citra team is kind of now the Yuzu team, and that would explain quite a bit. Now, Gamer64, who is behind Citra Enhanced, which is a fork of Citra, is now looking at possibly moving some of these features offered in Citra Enhanced over to the main version, which would mean that Citra on the Google Play Store may or may not be getting something like multiplayer. At this point in time, absolutely nothing has been decided just yet. The keyword here is might, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it's Yuzu, Skyline, or Citra. And if you've used Citra Enhanced or Citra MMJ, let me know in the comments below what features from those app you'd like ported to the official version of Citra. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.